Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with G. Recently in the .NET Conf virtual event, Microsoft has released C Sharp 8.0 and like there are tons of features uh, which are available in the C Sharp 8.0. So in this video series, uh, we are going to see each and every new feature of C Sharp 8.0 and this is the first video in, in the uh, series. So in this video we are going to see the default implementation in the interface. So like interface as you all know like is used to define roles and now we are going to see uh, what we can do with the default implementation in the C sharp interface. So what I am going to do is like I am already switched to my uh, ID Visual Studio 2019 community edition and i'm going to create a console app so if you haven't watched uh, .NET comp uh, i would highly recommend you to watch that dotnet comp uh, don't worry about the uh, link and everything i'll post uh, the watch list of the dotnet comp on the us uh, youtube so not a problem at all basically till c sharp uh, 7.0 uh, what we are going to do is like we can only define the function body in the interface and then we need to implement that interface into class and do the implementation here but with C sharp 8.0 now what we can do is like we can we can have a default implementation here and then we can if we want to override this then we can uh, override this thing into the class itself so for here what i'm going to do is i have created a print method and here i'm going to write console.write line to print the message whatever has been passed so now here what i'm going to do is I'm going to do printable class and I'm going to create an instance of print class with with the new keyword and then I'm going to print hello world there so here you can see print method is there and we can pass some string to there and what I'm going to write is uh, read uh, read key so it will wait for our interface so here in the simple program what i have done is like i have created a i printable interface then i have created a default implementation of the print method and then i implemented that printable i printable in, interface into the print class and then what i have done is i have created a instance of in, interface from by initializing the class and then I am printing the message and then I am waiting for uh, my input uh, for the console app. So let's run this application. So here you can see like it has printed uh, hello world and that is what the default implementation it is. Basically now we don't need to create a class there and uh, implement the function bodies defined in the interface you can always have a default implementation so i hope you like this video and if you like this video please do not forget uh, forget to subscribe to my channel code with jv this is the url bitly slash code with jv and uh, thank you for watching this video see you in the next video thank you bye